A word or phrase to describe my mom is fun-filled. She taught me it was okay to be silly. So when I was about eight years old, she initiated me into the exclusive Barnyard Club. Loving, patient, and kind. Well, my mom gave me my love for music, and then she uh, helped me hone that skill throughout my life. A uh, word to describe my mom would be fun-loving and also competitive. Um, and then something that she taught me, um, or maybe it's a curse, but she um, used to rearrange our furniture in the house all the time, which was very exciting when you would come home from school and everything looked different. But now I, I'm obsessed with doing that all the time, and I've passed that on to my kids too. It's tough. Um, um, you, you played by her rules or you paid the price. <laughs> My mother never helped us with our homework, but from a very early age, she made sure we all knew how to read, so we had a nice foundation. So I appreciate that. So a word or two to describe my mom, Jackie Setney, would be from when I was little, growing up, I always saw her as being patient, and now I see her as always being very helpful. And... Yeah, she instilled in me and fostered in me the love of gardening and music. Hi, my mom was our rock. Uh, she was our foundation, and she kept things going, and she was who we ran to and sometimes ran away from. Patrick, give me a word or words that would describe your mother. Loving, pig-like, <laughs> and... Why would you say that? Um, she snores like Daddy Pig. It's hard to pick just one word to describe my mom, but I would say today what I'm thinking about is present. She was a stay-at-home mom, and I always loved that, and she was just always present in my life, present for the important moments, the milestones, the big things, the little things, and the daily things. So that's one of the words I would use to describe my mom. And then um, she taught me, by her example, how to serve others, and um, she was always serving others. So I learned from her example to do the same and also uh, to be organized and a good planner and to plan ahead. She was like that and I believe that she taught me that as well. I miss her a lot, but I still wish her a very happy Mother's Day and I'm grateful she's been my mom. Candy is compassionate. She taught me how to stay calm when our son gets hurt because my normal reaction would be to freak out. When I think of one word to describe my mom, I would say selfless. Um, she's always just been that person who will do anything to make sure everyone else is comfortable, taken care of, having a good time. Um, she will just always <laughs> devote any amount of time, effort, anything it is to help other people. And I really admire her for that. Something that my mom taught me is finding joy and excitement in the little moments. There was many times in my childhood when things weren't really going well or we were going through a hard time, but my brother and I wouldn't have even known it because my mom just basically made every little activity that were usually monotonous and boring to most people. She made them fun, um, just getting groceries at the grocery store and things like that I mean we just look forward to it so much because she just made all those little moments exciting a word I would use to describe my mom would be thoughtful and she taught me how to be the person I am today my mother is kind strong and inspiring and my mother has taught me how to be a strong and independent woman a thing that my mom taught me was crafts and when I think of her, I think about love. My mother, she always had us say grace for dinner time. And it was, come Lord Jesus, be our guest. Let these gifts of ours be blessed. My mom was persistent, or others might say stubborn. She was also a strong leader. And she taught me to never be afraid to go for your dreams to never be afraid to strive for, to ask for, to work for those things that you feel led to, that you know you are called to and capable of.
A phrase that uh, comes to mind is hospitality. I remember always uh, growing up, and even in my adult years, uh, you would invite people over that were non-family members that may have been alone for a holiday, so you'd always invite them over for dinner with us. And the other thing that uh, you've taught me is patience. Uh, you don't get riled up easily and uh, let things sort of play out, and that's what I think I've gained from you. So happy Mother's Day. Love you. Post me, read books, and she, and she, and she helps me to class, and, and, she, and when mom and me wakes up, she, she says, I love you. If I had to describe my mom in two words, they would be loving and supportive, because no matter what it was, whether it was school, sports, dance, or even a school musical, she was there every step of the way. And one thing my mom taught me is how to be strong and independent and self-sufficient. She has taught me that I don't need to rely on anybody, that I can handle things on my own, but how to accept the help when it's there. My mom is devoted. She taught me how to cook and how to take care of myself and my family. From Helga. My mom had five children, three boys and two girls. When we started squabbling with each other and got too rambunctious, Mom didn't take sides and try to solve our problems. She only said, the one who stops fighting first is the smarter one. Of course, that took the wind out of our sails pretty quickly because we all wanted to be the smartest one. Even today, I still try not to hold a grudge, not to take offense, not be mad, not feel the need to win the argument because, of course, I'm the smart one. Something I learned from my mom. If you ask my kids, they'll tell you my ability to talk. I can talk about anything to anyone, and my mom has had that same effect on folks, and I think I've, I've learned that directly from her, although I don't think I'm half as opinionated as she is. <laughs> Love you, Mom. How would I describe my mom? Loving, caring, and short-spoken. She just got, got to the point. Her stories were never long. The, the most thing I remember about my mom is I always helped her to cook. That's why I have a big passion to eat now. <laughs> Food. My wife, the mother of my son, is extraordinary. Thank you, Jesus, for my mother. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Goodbye, goodbye. Be always kind and true. Goodbye, goodbye. I always think of you.